In this video, I'm going to show you how to accurately import a Revit model into InfoWorks. Hi everyone, you're watching BIM Lounge, a design and construction space where we learn how to stay efficient and create more. If you'd like to learn more about InfoWorks, I recommend you watch the intro video I made to the geolocation series, uh, link in the description. But essentially what I consider it to be is a uh, BIM GIS hub that allows you to bring in building and location-based information in a common environment. Let's get to work. Once in InfraWorks, what we need to do is use the model builder to create our site. And we can go ahead and look up our rough address. I know our site is roughly around the airport here. And to have a better view, let's switch to aerial. And then let's go find our site, which is right about here. All right. So we need a larger area so we can have a good context around our site i'd say probably we can select a rectangle maybe around this size just to capture the airport i think this is probably a good and maybe the the ocean that's probably a good context size and then you can just give this project a name And then create model and then at that point infraworks will uh, go ahead and prepare the model for you given that extent and uh, you'll be notified via email once it's ready now this is the infraworks context that i selected what i'm going to do is zoom in into my area of interest this is the site that I picked and now the first thing we want to do in this model is set up a coordinate system so it's the same as the one we used in Revit and that we're going to use for the imagery and in my case it's a state plane and to find your coordinate system you head over to the InfraWorks main model model properties and under coordinate system, see the default is WGS84. Now, what you wanna do is select your coordinate system either by browsing it, or in this case, since I already have it saved, I'm going to pick this one, it's the California State Plane. And you'll see that the coordinates in that area will change now you have a totally different reading so these are the coordinates that we're expecting now let's get back into Revit to make sure that we have that coordinate system and the survey point correctly placed so that the model will come in at the right spot right out of the gate Okay, so on the Revit side, all you have to do is ensure that your survey point and your project base point are on the actual site. A lot of times what we find is that the project survey point is very far away from the actual site. And in this case, you want to use the survey point as a marker, as a mere marker. So in this case, Make sure that the actual survey point is unclipped and then you can go ahead and move it. Honestly, I would move it just as a reference on top of the project base point. And then you can go ahead and save your file. Now back into InfoWorks, what you want to do is head over to your eye and make sure that your data sources are on. You, you activate it by clicking data sources here and you want to head over to 
add and Autodesk Revit. And this is where you can go ahead and pick the model that you just saved as with the proper survey point location. Now, once it's downloading, you'll see that it'll appear in this list as non-configured. Obviously, we loaded it as Revit model, so it'll appear under buildings, but it's not configured. So let's take a look at the menu here. I would suggest leaving this, the coordinate system as XY because we're going to manually input the coordinates. But the area where we want to ensure that we have the same coordinate system is here. So we're going to select ARN. And this is where you, you want to import the coordinates, paying attention that, of course, the X corresponds to the uh, east-west coordinates. And, of course, the Y corresponds to north-south. Aside from typing in the X and the Y values, I went ahead and put in uh, 13 feet as uh, elevation. And the rotation, in this case, along the Z axis, is related to the orientation of the building on the site. And all that looks correct. And we can go ahead and close and refresh. As you can see, the building seems to be positioned roughly in the same location as uh, we were able to see it in RGS Pro. So uh, this is how I uh, would bring in a Revit model into InfraWorks. So what's next? Well, for one, we could improve the quality of the terrain imagery within InfraWorks. Or two, if your output is visualization, I could show you how to import both Revit model and InfraWorks model into InfoWorks. And by the way, I made videos for both workflows, link in the description. Now, question for you, do you have another method to bring a Revit model into InfoWorks? And what would you use this uh, process for? And let me know in the comments below, and also let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.